Welcome to Lifestyle with Unis Rastal. This is Unis Rastal and this is that channel where I get to share with you everything from the perspective of a single parent. I would like to say a very big thank you for everyone who's been engaging on this channel, who has subscribed, who has liked for even once, who has always returned to watch. Thank you so much. You are so, so kind. So if you're yet to subscribe, I'd like to ask you, stay put, stay tuned for the next three minutes. Watch this video into three minutes or more and then you can hit the subscribe button but don't get off yet. Don't get off yet. You just want to watch this video to the very end and like like the video comment so I get to know feedback from you and also you could go extra by hitting the notification bell so you get informed when a new content drops okay so in this video I'd like to do like a review of January the month of January 2021 like seriously who else thinks that January has been very eventful and unlike other Januaries in this um, decade or this past decade this January of 2021 has really come with a speed and really took off Yes, I think so too. I have observed it since the mid of the month. I've really observed how much it was speeding through so fast. Now, um, I know that 2020 came with a lot of drama, a lot of things, a lot of, you know, emotions combined. And I think I, I would also want to think that um, it was because of the too much drama that came in 2020 that probably this year is going to really speed off like that. And probably this month. Now, um... Well, since this is more like a review of what this month is, I would like to start with the good news first. Number one good news is the fact that in the first week of January, I actually started off when I hit 500 subscribers on this channel and I was so excited, so like over the roof. It's been a long time coming and guess what? Still in the month of January, in less than two weeks, I was already out of 500 subscribers into 600 subscribers and this means so much to me and I would want to pause and say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to every person who has clicked on this channel to subscribe to be a returnee on this channel I thank you so much for the love and it's truly truly appreciated okay so thank you for making me grow helping me grow Thank you for all of the opportunities. And on that note, I would like to say a huge thank you to some admins who have also made this possible. I just want to recognize Jesse Ray, Idorsha. Thank you so much. I also want to appreciate um, Andy. Yeah, I think I got it right. Andy, thank you so much for always, always being a great admin. Um, I truly appreciate you people. Without your good work, this would not be possible. So thank you. All right, so remember in 2020, I did a video. I will put the link somewhere here. Okay, so I did a video of, um, you know, 11 books to read in 2021, right? So I have already started reading. I don't know how many of you have actually got to it, like started reading. But for me, I've actually completed two of those books on that list and getting on the third one. But in total, I have actually read about five books in the month of January. I wonder how fast that was. Maybe the speed of January also um, took took over me. But that's great. So the two books I read, remember this one? Um, yeah, remember this one with the with the money inside? Presents from an High by Lana Heitley. So this book is actually a gospel book and um, it's actually focused on spiritual growth, Christian living and the likes, but it mostly focused on women. Okay, so the author actually expounded so much on the gifts of the spirit that is also um, included in the Bible. You'll find it in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. So um, those gifts, you have the gifts which are categorized into three according to the author. There are the ministry gifts, motivational gifts, and manifestation gifts. And one good thing about the book, which I also benefited from, was right behind it, there were some, as you can see, there's some survey here where you get to know what type of gifts you possess. Okay, so I believe you can see it. Okay, so there are about 63 questions. They eventually get to tell you what gifts you possess and afterwards you mark it like this. So I was also able to mark my three top gifts, which are gifts of perceiving, gifts of serving, gifts of an encourager. And the number one of it was encouraging gifts. So I am an encourager and I've seen it in the course of my life. So it's really good to know much about this. So in this book, the author, um, highlighted on women in the Bible who had these gifts 
who had the gifts of prophecy, women who had the gift of um, service, service or serving, gifts of teaching, gifts of exhortation, gifts of contributing, gifts of administration, gifts of mercy. So this book really did justice to expound more knowledge on, on the gifts and also helped me know um, the characters of a certain gifted person so you know what areas and why you act the way you do so you know what exactly you're called to do and so as not to have conflicts in you know in the church or in any group you find yourself so that you don't conflict with another person's gift you just have an idea of where you fall in place so yeah that was that about Lana Hartley I finished it in about three days but that was because I, I had started it before I went for my retreat so I finished it up at the retreat. Then the next book I enjoyed was this, The Power Secrets, The Power by Rhonda Bryan. So this book I mentioned to you is a series, okay? It's in series. You have the secret, you have the power, you have the magic. And then there is a latest book that just came out too. You might want to check up on it. And it's also got this particular book, The Secret has got its documentary and it also has a film of it. So, but this particular book, The Power, I finished reading it in, hold up, let me think about it. I finished reading it in one day. Yeah, I read this up in one day. It is, this hardcover book is about 250 pages wait and I finished it in one day I enjoyed reading it the texts are so easy like it's 250 pages but it's short 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 with very lovely inscriptions on the side and then it also comes with a summary let me get for you at the end of every chapter you have um, points of power points to remember keys so basically the um, end of every topic you have the the, the summary for it and then quotes that came with it that are very important to note so on this note, I'm going to be doing another video from this book to just highlight on um, the quotes that I got from this book and I would like to share with you if you are anywhere you could download this book you know you can get an ebook of it on Amazon you could also check other uh, book sources to see where you can get it trust me you'll enjoy it, it will help your life when it comes to manifesting an amazing life and yes do I want to give a spoiler alert I think I do so basically the secret is the law of attraction the power is love you want to know what the magic is so go check it out okay take a good look at the book read it read it in and through let it get into you soak it in consume the book and let it consume you too because the way it's going to consume you I tell you in all honesty it's going to consume you in a way that you begin to manifest the life that you so desire Moving on, on to reviews. So that's done with books. The other book I'm reading is um, on making money. It's more on financial intelligence, how I want to make money this year. So last year, I, my um, COVID-19 actually impacted on my job. So I lost my job. Yes, you heard me right. I am... Um, I'm still in the mood of trying to get over it and get a, um, get something doing and it's one of the reasons why I got to YouTube to just take my mind away all of the stresses so I need that financial intelligence to be able to prepare me for the next phase of life mostly as it regards money I'm not so prudent with money my personal confession I'm getting better at it at least from the books and the trainings I'm having to do so I'm hoping that going forward it's going to be I'm going to be a lot more prudent and um, you know careful with the way I spend money okay so another good news News, the world and mostly the United States of America ushered in a new president and that's in no, no other person than President Joe Biden and it was good news for me because as a Nigerian the ban on travels to Nigeria and other African countries that have been struck out at some point by the Trump administration has or is going to be considered to be lifted so I could now travel have my family members and my friends who want me to just come there and have fun or something or invite me it could now be easier because trust me touring or coming in as a tourist would have been a lot easier but um, you know it costs more so but if you've got someone who's going to invite you you know the accommodation stress is taken care of and so many other things that come with it so if you're in the US I'm just letting you know this is a very soon I'll be touring that country well, then that's many thanks to brother President Joe Biden. So congratulations to everyone in the U.S. on this new feed. If you're happy about it, and I know some people are not so happy about it. Even here in Nigeria, I have some people who are not so happy about the fact that Joe Biden is president. But you can win some and lose some. Such is life. Okay, so, um, well... Amongst all the things, I am so excited. I know I mentioned as well that I'm supposed to be going to Bauchi um, on a trip 
to at least tour the states but unfortunately that's not going to happen again and I'm, I'm sorry I kept that like for the last so that I use that to sign off but trust me I'll be touring other states right now um, it's not so safe out there so we want we want to keep safe coupled with the COVID situation and the high rate of insecurity currently in my country I want to lay low for now but I would explore states that are very peaceful and um, you know easy to navigate such that I have the language ability so I'll be doing the East in the month of February so just stay tuned to what February is about also for this channel there's going to be a lot of tours and as well I'll be doing some organic stuff I will be sharing some um, tips as regards your health and yes I'm still going to do a lot of yoga workouts um, yoga asanas as well and I'll be sharing it on this space so these are a few of the things that will be coming in the month of February and subsequent months I'll try as much as possible to always upload frequently but remember I am getting busy from February like I want to get busy it's about time so for now this is the much we can take I am so glad I hope you have a reason to be thankful I hope reviewing the month of January 2021 you will look back and say okay it was a good month and also it would be a time for you to also look forward or focus more your energy in expectation of what you want to see in the coming months all right so my January has been awesome I'm sure it has been for you too and at this point I would like to say don't forget to subscribe hit the like button share the video and possibly go extra by hitting the notification bell so you get informed when the new content drops for now it is love and light namaste see you in the next video bye